Let's take a further look at instant state machines. In this example, let's look at the UI Canvas project, which models a graphical drawing tool. For this video, let's look at the Shape Tool class and its instant state machine. Remember that instant state machines control the life cycle and behavior of each instance of the shape tool class that is created and that each instance can be in a different state at the same time. In this real world example you could have multiple diagrams opened each with the shape tool enabled and in that case one could be in an idle state while the other could be creating an element In instant state machines, numbering is important. In this case, you can see that the idle state is numbered 1. If we look at the properties, you can see the state number. This is important because the initial state, which is the state that the instance will be in upon creation, is the lowest numbered state in the state model. In this case, idle is 1, so of course it's the initial state. The OAL, if there was any in the idle state, will not be executed upon instance creation. It is only executed when a transition is made to that state. Another thing to note is the final state. And in this case, let's look at the model class and its instance state machine. Here we can see idle again is the initial state and we can see that we have a closing state which in the properties you can see final state indicated. Here you can choose a state or set a state to be a final state or a non-final state. When the transition is made to the final state the instance is destroyed after the OAL in that state is executed. In this example, the closing state, which is the final state, will select all the tools related to the model and then dispose of them.